I'm gonna draw this shape with you guys. Uh, first off, what we important here is not to create too many points because if you create too many points, your line will be uh, distorted, so that won't be good. And uh, it'll be important not to break the handle of the Bezier curve. So let's start. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna hold Alt and drag because that's a summit, that, that's an occasion where you need to break your handle here. Okay, I'm gonna go as far as possible where my curve go. I'm gonna hold Shift and then I'm gonna drag. See, it aligned perfectly with my shape. Just gonna go down here. I'm gonna create another point and I'm gonna hold Shift again. Shift helped me to create very nice curve. But then, see, since it was not like perfect circle shape, it was some sort of a curve. I need to make some adjustment afterward, and I don't want to. I don't want to let my Bezier curve because I want to keep on going. So I'm gonna just hold Command key. I'm gonna take this handle. I'm gonna hold Shift so I can bring it down, and then I go back and forward between those two handle here. Okay, and there we go. I have the perfect balance in my curve. Okay. So I'm going to just click here because while I was explaining, I click, uh, I, I, I click uh, on the desk. So I release my basic curve. Now, what, I, what I'm going to do here, I click on my point because I just want to break the handle because I don't want to create a curve. I want to create a straight line. So I click on my point. It didn't break my previous uh, curve. It just allow me to create straight line in front. I'm going to hold shift. And then I'm gonna click here to make a straight line. Now I have a curve in front of me. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just drag a handle out of that. So see my little Bezier, Bezier curve tool? When I go next to an anchor point, it just understand that I want I want to I want to convert it to something. So that was that was a straight line. Now I want a curve. I click and drag, holding shift, and there we go. I have a very nice uh, handle here. I'm gonna go as far as possible on my curve here. My curve sits about here. So I'm going to go here somewhere else like that. Oops, I'm going to just click first and then hold shift and then drag. OK, here's another point here. I'm going to try with my shift. Ah, see, it doesn't go. I have to in this particular point. I just have to uh, put a little inflection in my curve. I try with shift doesn't work. So I just tilt my uh, my handle. Now what I have in front of me is a summit. So I want to break my handle because I don't have a counter curve. So I just hold alt and then I break my handle. My, I, I put it just like a little bit here because it's inside the, the shape. And then I'm going to see what's about half a circle here. I'm going to I'm going to go like that here to to find the right spot. I can sometimes find the right spot with my space bar. So sometimes I move around like that a little. Oh, see, I find something interesting here. If I go with shift, will it do it? Yes, that's it. So if I can do it with shift, that's good. It means a good curve. Then I'm going to find my corner here. Shift again. There we go. Now I've got a straight line. So I got to break this point. I just click again on it. Then break my curve, create a straight line. I go shift click, shift click, shift click. Another curve in front of me, so I just click on that on that anchor point, and I'm gonna release it. Oh, see, my anchor point was not really, really straight to the corner. No problem. I just hit comment, and then with shift, I can move my point in straight line with the other. Okay, so I keep on going here. Click. I hold shift as much as I can. I can go with command to adjust the other the other point here and then here we go here's here's the summit also so i'm gonna press alt to break my curve and i'm pressing shift because i want a nice curve here i'm gonna press shift command shift here and i'm gonna break my curve again i got a summit so alt but shift to create a nice curve and then i go i'm trying with shift ah this this one will not work with shift so I'm just go with an inflection like that. And then I break my handle with Alt. OK, so I made half of the shape. I'm just going to press Escape. Then I'm going to press with the um, uh, the little black arrow here. So what I have in front of me, I have half of my shape done. So I'm going to make some adjustment if I need to. So I can just take my white arrow, correct uh, what I done, what I done not right so i can just adjust some of the curves that i done in my in my work and i can reposition the uh the anchor point if i think 
it's it's better so you know you just go you correct your shape um as much as you uh as much as it, it, it is needed um what you can also do is you can align the point because see here i had a lot of point and they were not aligned straight so i just i will take my white arrow and i'm going to just select all of those points and i'm going to make sure that they are in the same line how do i do that see my point are selected because they are filled with color as this other are not selected because they are still white i'm going to go with uh, command alt and g and then it's going to make gonna bring me this uh, uh this little guy here so i'm gonna align my uh dot on an horizontal axis so there we go it's all aligned now okay now i'm ready to do the uh, mirror shape i'm gonna take half of the shape here with the black arrow and i'm gonna sh i'm gonna take the mirror tool now what i'm gonna do is i'm, I'm gonna press alt while clicking on a point so it's gonna bring me this uh it's gonna bring me this guy here uh let's see i didn't press exactly at the center so i'm gonna start again i'm gonna take the mirror tool let let me zoom a little so that i'm very straight here and i'm gonna go alt exactly on the middle so it bring me my uh mirror uh my mirror tool my mirror uh, uh dialog box so i'm gonna just go vertical and i'm gonna go copy so then i create a copy of my path okay and now actually both of the point i are not really one in front of the other see how they are far so i'm gonna take both of them by just dragging with my white arrow and i'm gonna go uh, command alt g so then it's gonna bring me that guy here a line and i'm gonna go uh, i think in english is average sorry for the french uh, i got a french uh, uh software here so i'm gonna align and i'm gonna get hit both here so now they are perfectly aligned but this still it's two lines see and you can see that it's really like the it's not a jointed corner so i'm gonna take both of the point and i'm gonna go apple g so comment g and then both of the points are joint so g like joint i'm gonna do the same at the bottom here i'm gonna take both of the point here command alt g and uh this will align both so average both and then command g just to align both of the point so there we go i have my shape i can color it i can just hold my uh, uh my my eyedropper tool and see i have a very nice shape here 